Okay, so let's look at how we would pick a base point on our elliptic curve and what the subgroup order uh, means. Okay, so this is an elliptic curve. So we have this type of equation here. y squared is equal to x cubed plus ax plus b. And then we have it within a finite field, so it's the mod of p. So typically what we do is we'll take a base point on the curve and then we'll add it... Uh, many times, uh, small n times, to give a public key point. So our, our generator point is this generator point here. G is an x and y value. We generate the number of times that we add that point to itself. And that's our private key. And then that creates a public key, which is a point on the elliptic curve. So how do we pick the value of g to make sure that we have good security and that there is enough points. So this is an example here uh, of the elliptic curve which is used in, in Bitcoin. So here's our prime number. So I think that's something like two, 2 to the power of 256 minus something. a is 0, b is 7 and here is a generator point. So this has been selected so that uh, we have good security. Then we have the suborder, subgroup order value uh, n. Uh, so I'll represent it as large n here. Uh, but we can see here this is uh, this is one of the factors of the curve. So what does it actually look like when we define a finite field? Well, there are only certain values that will work when we take the, the mod of 97 so that we can get a y squared value. So the value of x equals 1 works because when we work, that's 1 plus 2 plus 3, uh, which gives 6. If we take 54 squared and then take the mod of 97, it should uh, equal uh, Six, uh, three, uh, six, yeah. Okay, so only certain values will work uh, on the curve uh, within our finite field. So here we see uh, 154, and then we have 391, and, and so on. So those are all the points that, that we have. So we've got to be able to pick a base point so that we can go to other points and not repeat again. Okay, so the way we, that we do this is that we calculate the points. Either we do an addition for a point and we use this formula here, or if the point is added to itself, such as the very first time that, that we do it, then we use this formula here. So the code for this, if we want to print out the values of Two, um, two times a point, three times a point, four times a point, and so on, uh, is this. Uh, so in this case, uh, we'll see when this returns uh, a zero, uh, this, is, uh, this is this operation here. When this returns a zero, then we define it as, as a point at infinity, and it doesn't actually uh, give us a, a valid point on, on the curve. Most of the time, we will add and find a new point. Okay, so this is what we're looking at. Uh, we pick a point G on the curve, and then what we want is to be able to keep adding uh, G uh, to print our public key. So the suborder group is important because the suborder group defines uh, the number of times that we can add a certain point before it cycles round again. So obviously if that's a low value, then we have low security. If it's a high value, then we have good security because we have lots of points. So if we pick a value of uh, 3 on this curve here, so this is... Uh, uh, a is 2 and B is 3 with a prime number of 97. We can see here what happens when we run this. Uh, 
when we run this, uh, we get a cycle. And we define this uh, with a value of 5 for the, the cycling uh, of it. So if we pick a value of 3, and it's 391, then after 5 additions, then we get a value of 0, or the point doesn't really exist, and we will go around again and, and cycle. So there are only really uh, uh, 1, 2, 3 uh, points that we can have for our private key uh, before it would repeat again. So this is not a good point to, to pick. Okay, and this defines a suborder group equal to 5. If we pick another point, uh, such as x equals 1, that's 154, this point uh, here, then it's much better. And we can see here, it is now generating uh, more points as we keep adding the value of g. In this case, we have a suborder group of 50. So after 50, it starts to repeat. So we now have more points that we can use. So this is a better base point than uh, we had before. Okay, so when we look at our elliptic curves, the definition, so this is the definition for uh, Bitcoin curve, A is equal to zero, B is equal to seven, and it's been selected that the base point is this point here. We use a prime number of this value here, and we get a sub or subgroup order of this value here. Okay, so that defines the number of points that we can actually have within inside our prime number field, within our finite field. And this, the G value, uh, the X and the Y will be selected to give to maximize the value here so that we can have a very large space. So we don't get all of our values that we have within our prime number, but we get this uh, um, amount. So it, it limits the number of points before we uh, repeat and n will probably will have to be the, the maximum number that uh, the maximum value that we can generate and not the prime number okay so i hope that's explained what the suborder group actually is and how we would pick uh, the base point